So, you can't make a good wife based on how your grandmother became a good wife. You can't become a good wife based on how your mother became a good wife. Situations have changed, expectations have changed. Hmm? It's not in the stomach anymore. For some it's gone up into the head, for some it's gone further south. <laughs>
you can't make a good wife based on how your grandmother became a good wife. You can't become a good wife based on how your mother became a good wife. Situations have changed, expectations have changed. Hmm? It's not in the stomach anymore. For some it's gone up into the head, for some it's gone further south. <laughs> yes? So, you don't uh, do that. Essentially, what a husband and wife means is, because you're not geared, most people are not geared, very few people in this world are geared to make this journey of life all by themselves. They're organized enough within themselves totally. They never feel anything missing in their life because they've made themselves like that. But most people need somebody else to lean on either emotionally, psychologically, there are needs in a human being, physical needs, psychological needs, emotional needs, maybe social needs, economic needs, variety of needs. To fulfill these needs, you want to find one person that you can depend on. Because it's very difficult even to find one person who… with whom you can share everything that you have, your body, mind, emotion and works. So this is the idea. Formalizing it is so that every time you get little… some little friction, you don't fall apart, so little tying up so that things don't fall apart very easily, all right? Nothing else. The biggest mistake humanity made was, they started saying marriages are made in heaven, that's why it's such a mess <laughs> What's done here? If you see, marriages are made between us, and we took responsibility for who we are, how we could have made it work, but the damn thing is made in heaven. Not suitable here, it's because it's an alien stuff <laughs> Everything is a mess because you think it's made elsewhere by somebody else. If you understand it's made by you for your well-being, to fulfill your needs and your purposes, so that you can go through this journey of life with least amount of trouble and friction, then you would handle it more responsibly, isn't it? And according to contemporary needs, not how your grandmother did her marriage, you can't do it that way because expectations and situations have completely altered themselves. So, if you hold somebody, who is your friend and who is your need, you must understand. You are in this relationship because you need. Maybe the other person also needs but that's from their side. As far as you are concerned, you made this relationship because you need it badly, isn't it? If you understand and you're always grateful for this, that somebody is fulfilling all your need, you would handle it well, you wouldn't make a misery out of it. But now you think somebody else needs you, then you will make a mess out of it. You understand, you need it. Well, the other person also needs to understand he needs it. Now there is a cohesion. If you think, oh, you need me, so I'm going to exploit you, no. This is not about you squeezing happiness out of somebody or they squeezing happiness out of you. If two happy people meet, then there can be something wonderful happening between them. But you are a misery and you think somebody else should be the source of your happiness, well, it'll multiply. <laughs>
if you want to get married, you need to know exactly what you're bringing to the table. If you come with your happiness, and this guy comes with the happiness, and then you bring it together, people are going to be happy. Straight, straight facts. But if one comes with happiness, and this one comes with problems, problems, sadness, and whatnot, then it will be this guy's responsibility to try and fix this guy's uh, issues. Then it's going to be a lot of uh, sluggishness and what's going to happen at the end of the day you're going to have issues here and there at the end of the day you want to achieve your goal nothing is happening because of you have to think of this guy's problems or you have to think of your spouse's problems which is not a bad thing you get it which which is not a bad thing if you're that guy who can help go in and help but if if he or she sees that he is sad because everybody has the power to change the, 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 the emotion in you. Then be in that position to change yourself to be a happy person. You get it? And by mean being a happy person, just try to figure out what is it that makes me happy. Does it make you happy? Yeah. Then uh, communication and stuff like that. I mean, what you say is really, really important in a relationship. So I mean the, the thing is can a woman can a modern woman be be an ideal wife? Yes. She can and also a man can. It just <clears throat> it just depends it just depends on uh, it just depends on what you're bringing on the table. That's very important. But there's a but <laughs> You've already answered the question. Can I talk yeah. now? Okay yeah you can you can say something. I like but there's the a but path that he started with Things have changed. Of course, yeah, things Everything have changed. Everything has changed. Mm -hmm. Many women can testify that many men out there want us to be like our parents, mm -hmm. to be like our grandparents, mm -hmm. to do everything like the women before us did. Mm -hmm. Circumstances have changed. First, understand that when you get into a relationship. Of course. Second thing, he spoke about many men, and this. Anyway, many men believe that a way to the heart is through their stomach. Mm -hmm. So if the way to my stomach is oh, the way to my heart is through my stomach, so who's going to be cooking then? I like food, do you like food then what? Let's order from outside. <laughs> <laughs> it's simple. Things are changing and then let's the, order from Baga City. We eat. Sometimes don't make the your partner um expectations, I mean. Yes. Don't make your partner feel bad about themselves for something that they can't do. Sometimes that's why there's compromise. Oh, you like food? Fine, I'll make your food. But then in return, what are you doing for me? Perhaps I like um, having conversation about things like this, which I do. I can talk about this for two hours. Say I want to be having conversations about this, maybe an hour, two hours. We're just seated by the balcony gate since it's hot now. So why not meet me halfway? I'm making you happy, you're also making me happy in another way. But then I shouldn't be sad because um, it's not happening. And I feel like someone that truly, truly wants to be with you mm -hmm. will meet you halfway. Yeah, it's true. That's the only way you can find your ideal partner. It's true. Halfway. Yeah. The people that don't want to compromise, they want you to do everything the traditional way. They even give reference to that parents that you've never met yeah it's true i mean people people have different um different ways of of uh of doing things or or, or like, let's say on how they they perceive things to be in their own house but then you because people away, that's the yeah it's true because people come from different backgrounds a man will see his mom that's Probably, wise. yeah, his mom doing those things to the dad and whatnot, and That's he will, house. yeah, let, yeah, let me finish, and he will really admire that. So, um, a man will try to go out and find a lady who's just like the mom. You get it? But the moment, the moment he goes out there and finds somebody different, then I, I think that's where the problem comes in. I don't know why Maybe men. Maybe try find someone that's not like mom. Yeah, I don't know why people men actually want to do such kind of thing. I mean, um, the but what the but I wanted to talk about is 
yes, things have changed. We know nowadays, like, everybody has to go out to work, come back home. You know, everybody's tired. We can't cook anymore. Let's call the, the what do you call this? The, the people from whatever, the Bagger City and Poppies and whatnot. But again, if, we, we, if, if, if that's going to make the relationship happy, well and good. But the, 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 the point comes in that, uh, what do you call this? Each and every individual, if you know that you know how to cook, if you know that I'm good at doing that, why don't you go in the kitchen and try to throw down? If you find it, it's hard to go in by yourself, call your, 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 what, your wife or whatever thing, let's do it together. <laughs> you get it. There are some cultures out there that they don't allow men to go in the kitchen. But as we are today, we live in a modern society whereby anybody can go in the kitchen. Anyway guys, um, I mean, such an amazing, uh, what do you call it? such an amazing video right here and really, really nice anyway. Shout out to the men that know things have changed. Yeah, shout out to everybody out there. Anyway guys, if you feel like we've reacted to this video in a better way, just give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section and uh, tell us exactly what you feel about this video. What do you think about uh, can a modern woman be an ideal wife? Just let us know in the comment section below. Do you think the women of nowadays can become a good wife? Just let us know in the comment section below. And just let us know why and give us reasons and whatnot. We're going to read all the reasons and we're going to reply to them if possible. And also, the most important thing, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We keep on subscribing, then we give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you better, better content. And last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video. And peace out.